welcome back. We all know that eating our fruits and veggies are important, but a recent study confirms what Grandma used to say, and it has shed some light on why vitamin C is at least one of the factors. Dr. Justin Puckett from Complete Family Medicine is here this morning to tell us more. Good morning. How are you doing? Doing great. Thank you. So tell us more about this new study that just came out. Well, it was a Danish study that uh, looked at um, intake of fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. and its long-term effects on both cardiovascular heart disease and also on um, early death. And they found in those Danish people who ate um, lots of fruits and vegetables, had that as a predominant part of their diet, that um, one, their vitamin C blood levels were higher, um, and two, they had a 15% uh, reduction in overall heart issues and a 20% reduction in early death. And so that study got quite a bit of press, and so there's been lots of questions about should I be supplementing my vitamin C, how do I get my vitamin C, and, and so it's kind of uh, given us that focus back towards fruits and vegetables again. Now, is there any level of vitamin C that is too high for you? Well, we don't think that there's really a too high of a level that's going to that's gonna cause any major problems, mm -hmm. but uh, once you get uh, into the higher doses, even more than 500 milligrams a day, you can start to get some GI upset, some belly ache, some, um, some nausea, some, some diarrhea, mostly from the osmotic effect of the extra vitamin C. Um, and uh, so you want to be careful and, and not get too much. Um, and it's, I, I just don't ever want to spend any money on a supplement that I'm just going to, you know, be not absorbing or peeing out. Mm -hmm. So let's, uh, let's talk about uh, the effect that vitamin C has on the body. What does it do? Yeah, so vitamin C's got four major effects. One, it really works well um, as a part of the connective tissue process whenever we're building connective tissue. Mm -hmm. And connective tissue is a part of everything in our body, everything from our heart to our skin. Um, and we really think about vitamin C as having a primary role in wound healing. Um, secondarily, it uh, has a role in the production of neurotransmitters, so we have to have a, an adequate level of vitamin C to make things in our brain uh, that help signal, um, to, that control mood and, and anxiety and those sorts of things. And then it also is a potent antioxidant and it uh, works directly uh, to help take out some of those free radical things that happen, some of those those uh, uh, chemical reactions in our body that might have a bad outcome, it takes the bad piece and carries it away. And then it also works as a um, potentiator for other antioxidants that are in our body like vitamin E, that it makes them, it kind of hits the reset button, it, take, mm -hmm. it lets them continue to work. And then lastly, it's got a big role in immune system. And so we often hear about vitamin C in the winter time to mm -hmm. keep from getting a cold and it's a part of some of the airborne supplements and that right. sort of a thing. So those right. are the primary roles of vitamin C. And of course, when you just said that about colds and in the wintertime, you always think, you know, like orange juice. Are there any other uh, foods out there that are rich in vitamin C that we should be Absolutely. including in our diet? Yeah, the, the two big ones um, are actually red peppers and green peppers. They have your really? daily allowance in just a half a cup of those raw um, or cooked. So using some, uh, n not the hot peppers, just right. red or green bell peppers. Um, also, broccoli has a large amount. Um, and then, of course, some of the fruit, the oranges, orange juice, grapefruit, grapefruit juice, kiwi fruit, um, all of those have 50 or more uh, milligrams of vitamin C um, in, a half of, in a half of a cup or a serving of those items of fruit. So, um, and our, again, our daily allowance for adults ought to be probably around 100 to 150 is the recommended daily allowance. Mm -hmm. um, if you feel like you need to supplement, you've got wounds or you seem to get sick a lot, um, you know, you might want to be somewhere between three and 500 as an adult. Mm -hmm. um, and then interestingly enough, smokers need about 35% more vitamin C um, in order to reach those same blood levels. Um, they just don't absorb it as well in their, in their stomach. Interesting. All right. Now, how does this uh, new study with vitamin C have changed uh, your dinner menu at home? Well, I think that it really needs to, there's a couple things. One, the um, the, the study that did show higher levels of vitamin C in the blood, mm -hmm. but all the people were getting that from fruits and vegetables. And when you're increasing your intake in fruits and vegetables, you're increasing your fiber, you're increasing lots of other, um, uh, other vitamins and, and minerals, uh, and even the macronutrients. And so, to me, I think that it really just uh, encourages us to refocus on whole foods. Mm -hmm. We need to be incorporating in as much good veggies as possible. And then I, I get a little bit leery about the fruits. I mean, fruits can be okay, um, but in excess, uh, you get a lot of sugar. And that mm -hmm. sugar that comes with those fruits, especially the fruit juices, can be counterproductive. So if you're going to have an orange juice, I always recommend adding a little bit of a fiber supplementation because that helps counter the sugar that's in there. Mm -hmm. um, but really, to, at, at our house, it hasn't changed a whole lot. I don't recommend supplementing vitamin C generally. 
And I just really, you know, as long as we're focusing on getting uh, some of the good whole vegetables and fruit, you're going to be fine and, and everything's going to be well taken care of. The body is very accurate at maintaining vitamin C levels. Mm -hmm. And so it stores it up and uh, uh, any excess will just go to waste. Right. Interesting. Well, thank you so much. What we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at heartlandconnection.com and we'll link up Dr. Puckett's information with Complete Family Medicine. Again, thank you so much for coming on. My pleasure. Thank you. And we'll be right back.